If you like music and history, how about a museum that pays homage to a bunch of rowdy musicians and the dives they like to play in? It's the Tempe Historical Museum's project called Tempe Sound. If music is the soundtrack to our everyday lives, then the Tempe Historical Museum wants a piece of you. Well, sort of. What we're doing is we're making it a community project. It's not something we can do on our own. We're putting a call out to all the bands, all the local music fans, uh, to bring in their memorabilia, uh, bring in their show flyers and their stickers and their t-shirts and their instruments, and uh, share them with us so we can put them on display. Curator Joshua Roffler says the collection of mementos and memorabilia will prove invaluable for preserving Tempe's historical music scene of the late 80s and 90s. The Mill Avenue sound is characterized by bands like the Gin Blossoms or the Pistoleros or Dead Hot Workshop. It's thought of as a, you know, more of a poppy sound with a jangly guitar, alternative music that has influence from the south of the border and uh, also a little bit of country music thrown in. It's really uh, accessible and um, it's one of the reasons why I think it became popular. During that time in the early 90s, there were really an awful lot of music venues. There were a lot of choices for people uh, to go see live music, and that's uh, one of the things that really made it such a scene. Um, just on Mill Avenue alone, you had places like uh, Long Wong's, uh, Legendary Club, um, Chewy's, Edsel's Attic. There were a whole number of uh, places where you could go to and really just, just walk from club to club. Uh, then outside of walking distance, there were you know places like the Sun Club, the Electric Ballroom. Some of the items on display will be an important piece of equipment from the legendary Long Wongs on Mill Avenue. There's also a collection of Gin Blossom's gold records and flyers and art for bands like the Meat Puppets and the Jetsons. Just the fact that so many great performers uh, have come out of this little town, I think is very interesting. You know, I think it's great that we have, you know, so many notable and influential bands uh, that have come out of, you know, this little college town that is uh, Tempe, Arizona. And so that's something that's worth celebrating.